wasn't ready but it's really just gym ready so i'm just gonna take a little bump of this i don't think that's the right way to say it bump <laughs> right Andy? it's a bump it's a bump okay um dry because i didn't want to do a whole thing but this also this are you gonna have any okay i just need a little i need a little i need a little caffeine okay Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> and I just brushed my teeth. <laughs> it was like extra tart. Okay. Really just trying to get some movement going on. Some blood flow. Well, just not really i'm probably just gonna walk on the treadmill maybe do a little no i didn't bring my job rope. just kidding walk on the treadmill okay bye this is a cabinet we have in the dining room and up top it looks fine and then you get down to here but there's glass on the top so you can only see the top and the bottom obviously is hidden by the doors but most of the stuff on these last three shelves are nigel things and uh this is where i decided to declutter from So obviously went in the little cabinet, you saw the top, which looks way better because that's where the glass is and then below is the mess. That's where Nigel's stuff is. So some of that stuff is staying, like I showed you, towels and medicine, stuff like that. But the things that I took out, so we bought this bark collar when he was super little and it was, we didn't realize so after we bought it and cut it that you can't, you, he was too, still too young, so that's just gotta go in the trash. So that's one thing. So to make up for yesterday and today, I have to do seven things total, so that's one thing. This thing I used to have before I found leggings with pockets. It was like a waistband, you like put your phone through it, flip belt. It was like amazing, and I, there's no need for it anymore, so I'm just gonna put that away. Two things. This was Nigel's harness when we first got him, and it was too big for him. Like, look how tiny this is. It was too big oh my god but it's dirty and there's i'm not trying to sell this but this was his little harness wait should we keep this for memories i don't know see this is why i don't like getting rid of stuff because i'm like i can't get rid of my baby's first harness okay we have to put that on the side so we've only got two things oh wait i put this in here before but these were these beef bones they have they give nigel diarrhea so 
I don't know how good they are towards because of the this is says made in USA so this date could mean July 1st 2022 but then it also was sold in Italy so it could mean January 7th 2022 so I'm just gonna throw them away so that's three things so yesterday check so today four things and so I have oh yeah I have four things so what this, look this little thing which we put on Nigel one time and it was already too big at the time and he was like three or four months but it's so cute we definitely need to get him another one. He doesn't like clothes, but it doesn't matter. So I took pictures of this stuff because I'm gonna put it up for a few dollars on our Facebook page and see if anyone buys it. Also this little red sweater. It's in our Christmas pictures that we had taken in 2020. This little vest to match my vest. I have a, I have a blue vest like this, but it's so cute. It has a little fur in the inside. But it's too, it's too big. And then this, wait, wait. That's too many things. Or should I save this for tomorrow? <laughs> One, two, three, four. I might have to carry over something for tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna save those for tomorrow. And so my last thing for today, this bag we bought, it's a carrier for Nigel, so it has a tag on it. And we thought it would be a good size and then he was kind of too big for it. And then we never used it, so. Those are my four things for today. I took pictures, I'm gonna put this up on Facebook and then these other things that I cleared out, I'll tomorrow so i don't get ahead of myself you know <sighs> because like i can, I, don't, I don't think i can part with this oh this is too cute i think i might have to save it oh my god look how like what is this look how teachy oh my god he was so small but yeah all right so seven things that felt good to get some stuff out of there um so day four we're doing good i obviously saw made rice for dinner I got a video edited. I filmed two videos earlier. I haven't read anything today. I don't know what I'm gonna start today, but that's what's going on. It's Monday. I went to the gym, made breakfast, took a shower, filmed two videos, edited a video, and then decluttered. I am spent. It is, what time is it? It is 6.11. Oh my God. This is what happens when you sleep in. But anyway, glad I got that out of the way. But this is making me feel super emotional because he was such a little baby and now he's a big boy. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go now. Oh, it's bedtime. What are you doing? Come on. Now, come on, we're going to bed. Nigel, bring your punk ass. What's wrong with you? Good morning. You obviously got to see a uh, little morning looks like with Nigel and I. I hope my neighbors are never outside in the morning because I always be looking a mess. This is actually better. When I don't sleep with the bonnet, my hair be like this, I be going right outside. But um, it is Tuesday, so Andrew has to go to work. Um, and sometimes, because I'm a great wife, I'll make him breakfast. So I'm just gonna make like a protein uh, Greek yogurt bowl thing that he likes. Uh, so yeah, you can see it. I don't have a bra on, mind you, but... Regret this because I'm walking up the stairs while I'm making this video, so I'm gonna be huffing and puffing. But back from the gym, our internet is out, so of course I was planning on finishing editing up my video. Like it's already uploaded to YouTube, and I have processed the captions, but I have not uploaded the captions to the video or edited them. Haven't done the description or the thumbnail. So <laughs> until that's working, I can't do anything about my video. So I am going to clean downstairs. Um. Ah! 
I started some laundry. Sorry. Washing sheets. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. And then if it's still not on, I'm gonna call the people and see what to do. And maybe read, because I didn't read anything yesterday. I was just watching TV. So gonna clean. And I got in this nonfiction book, and I thought it was an audiobook, but it was the ebook. So I might just listen to another Mormon stories podcast while I clean. Because why not? And I also will insert a picture that the things that I um, decluttered yesterday, I have posted on Facebook. So hopefully some people will um, purchase those items. And then uh, some more things I'm getting rid of, which I did post on Facebook today because they were all doggy items. So two things, um, this was like a de shedder thing, but we got a better one, so I don't need it, but I mean, it's fine. And then just clippers. So those are two things. I need to get rid of five things today. So those are two. Um, oh, also, this is the third one that we got this custom. We got this food stand thing custom made for Nigel. Like, and I gave her the measurements, but it was still too tall for him. So we've never used it. And it's just been sitting there collecting dust. So I posted that too. So three things. So I just need to get rid of two more things today. This is, you know, I got a lot of stuff, like I said. So, oh, someone already sent me a message from Facebook. Hey, hi, Nini. She said hello. And um, another thing. So this is a pool. And I'm going to put this up for sale. I don't know if I'm going to count that in my things today. So my fourth and fifth thing today are going to be this rope. Because I don't know why I keep it. It's super old. And he just ripped string off of it. So I'm going to throw it away. And also this <laughs> floaty I bought him that he hated because he hates the pool. So I'm gonna throw these two things away and then it's five things I've gotten rid of. Wow, I feel great and I've already sold like four things on Facebook. Oh my God. Look at him, look at him. Give me the ball. Look at him, look at him. <laughs> give me, give me, give me, give me. Let me have it. Look, let me have it. He's so strong. That jaw. Ah, let me have it. Nigel, this is not how you play. Share. He's such a jerk. Get me. So I'm making ice cream. Well, this is like the base for the ice cream. It's custard base, um, which I haven't had in a while. So I'm very excited. But so four of the things that I've decluttered from yesterday, all the little Nigel stuff, four of those things. Well, not all from yesterday, some from today. So I sold the dog bowl, the little vest, a little floral print shirt and the backpack so i sold four things that have decluttered so i'm very proud of myself yay haven't read anything today actually i lied so i was like oh yeah fever shark comes out today went to my library to request it because usually i'm just like all right there's already a line it was half the time on release day it's not even up there and i have to wait and then i go on the next day and then there's a long wait it was not only up on release date, it was available. So I just got it, oh my gosh. So, but then I also looked at Black Sun, the audio available, it was just meant to be. So I'm just re-listening to Black Sun on a higher speed than I normally would just to be refreshed. Nigel, sir, what are you doing in here? And uh, then I'm gonna read Fevered Star, but I've only listened to a little bit of Black Sun today because I've just been doing other stuff, but just an update, okay, hi. Hey. Okay, it is, um, what day is it? Oh my God. Oh, it's Wednesday. So this is day six of decluttering. And so I was upstairs and I'm in my bathroom. I have a lot of stuff. I have this little table and um, it has a drawer. And so I've got a lot of stuff up here that I need to go through. This sunscreen, I don't know if you can see it. It's Coats uh, Mineral Sunscreen that I tried. Again, sorry about this lighting. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, it took way too much to rub in and it eventually does, but then it would get my hairline and it was really hard to get out. So I just need to throw this out. I tried it a couple times and it's not for me. And that's one thing. Then also I tried this Versed sunscreen, another mineral sunscreen. And this one did not blend in at all. It was terrible. I tried it multiple times and, um, oh, perfect. It expires this year. So, or this month. And yeah, I was so mad because this was like $21 for this one point 
seven fluid ounces and i think this one was like 20 something dollars but this was 2.5 ounces at least but yeah neither of those work for me also the CeraVe retinol i don't feel like really did anything for me i want to try paula's choice retinol but i just haven't bought it yet so i need to get rid of this and it's just been there for a while um also i got this elf daily hydration moisturizer um and it's scented and it just, mm, I don't know, I put it on and I started getting little bumps. I was like, no. So I need to throw that out. Um, mom, mom. I also, well, actually I kind of want to, oh, also this I got from Glossier, this milk jelly cleanser and I did not like it. It just like did not, I don't know. When I used it, I was like, I felt like it kept sliding off my face. So did not like this. Although I do like Glossier's sunscreen. I need some more of this. Do I even use, okay. Actually this night cream I used and it just didn't feel, I didn't feel like it did anything for me. And I don't know the last time I even touched it, honestly. So um, yeah, I'm gonna let this go. When was this? So cleared out. Wow, it's so much neater in here now. Look at that. Wow, okay love this for me so i cleared out all of these boxes but i'm not counting this as stuff this was just my triplane ass needed to get this out one two three four five six mm, look at that um good morning so it is thursday and i took today off from the gym because i'm pretty sore so i'm gonna get caught up on some things and i'm not gonna have a lot of baby focus time, so I'm gonna go ahead and stuff um, him a Kong. And I cannot, I feel like we had a bigger one, but this is the only one I can find. So I'm gonna stuff this, put it in the freezer, so give it to him a little later. Um, so, did not get all my admin stuff done, I just had to take a break. But I did get my vlog edited yesterday. Um, so it's uploaded to YouTube, so I need to edit the captions, I need to make a thumbnail, because I do want it to go up today. I don't know why I'm like this, why didn't I do it yesterday? And I did read some more of Black Sun. I listened to more of Black Sun. And um, I did skip to the second part because I was remembering so much. And oh man, <laughs> Shiala and Soraya. If you know, you know. I just mm, love it so much. The most part I need refreshing on is literally like really what happened like at the end. And then what was happening in the romp And the crow dude, other dude, the. I can't remember. So listen to some more of that and where I'm at, Serapio and Shiala are still traveling to Tova, but they're close. Um, so I'm like, <laughs> it's ramping up, it's ramping up. Sorry. So yeah, I'm gonna stuff this Kong and then I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. I was gonna take Nacho on an early walk, but it was windy and he doesn't like no wind. I mean, he's got these big old, come here. Come here, you little jerk. I was gonna show the people your big ears. Not like they don't know. You know, his big satellite dishes. Anytime we go walking, it's windy. He just like sits or he lays down because um, I imagine it's wild. Uh, so yeah, that's it. And then today is day seven. So I've got to get rid of seven things. This is exciting. I'm, I'm getting excited to see what I'm getting rid of. I have so much stuff. And I'm excited to get rid of it. Do you want to show the people? Do you want to tell them hi? Say hello. Say good morning. Look at them big ears. Say good morning. He's so excited. Anyway, going to put him up. And then make his calm, make my breakfast, get the stay popping, okay? Hello, still in my bonnet, still in the same outfit. I got stuff done that I need to get done. I've been playing The Sims. Now I'm gonna get rid of my stuff for today. And I'm gonna do it up here because I'm up here playing The Sims. I have two drawers right here that I just opened. So I'm looking to see if I have a bag to put stuff in. I can get rid of this, this is always fully booked planner that of course I did not fully use because I always buy planners and I don't use them and this is from 2018 so it is time to let this go even though it's beautiful hold on are there stickers in here yeah okay okay I'm just gonna get I'm not gonna look through this I'm sorry y'all are on this chaotic journey with me I don't even have places to crown my life okay I have all these keys I think that I was going to like use them to for bookstagram photos, but I don't do that anymore. So I'm gonna get rid of these. And it feels weird to just like all um, throw them away, but I don't know what she would do with these. But that's gonna be one thing. So this bag of keys, I don't need. 
I still have this Juniper Books catalog from 2017 because until I got my uh, Narnia ones, I was like, the only way I'm gonna be able to afford them is if I look in the catalog, but I need to get rid of this. So this is gonna be my third thing. I have a lot of pens and pencils, but it's because I love pens and pencils. I still have these bar keys from when I bartended and they are Patriots and the Celtic one and they are obviously so old. But can I get rid of them though? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I have a Sims 4 disc that I obviously don't use, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna count that, I'm gonna count that as a fourth thing. Wow, I've lost count. Okay, one, two, three, okay. I'm gonna count that as a fourth thing. Ooh, stickers, yas! But look, I have all these like markers because I have, you know, my whiteboard. Are these Sharpies? You know what? I'm gonna test these Sharpies and see if they even work. And that could be something I get rid of. That pencil can go. What is this? That's gonna go. I don't know what this is, that's gonna go. But I'm gonna test my Sharpies. This is a broken clipper. This was a pepper spray that expired in 2016. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. So where am I at? I feel like I should be at enough things now, but this desk just became kind of a mess. So let me see. One thing, this Juniper Books catalog needs to go. Pepper spray, two things. Whatever this is, three. Four, what is this? Oh, some kind of lipstick. Yeah, I need that. Four, five, I'm just counting it, okay? Six and seven. Even though I don't know what, <clears throat> I feel like, I feel, I don't know why I feel bad, but I feel bad throwing out the keys. Just gonna throw in the trash, test my Sharpies, and then I'm gonna go make me some pork chops because I'm hungry. Okay, bye. So I guess we're gonna go back home, huh? Oh, you look comfortable. You don't like that wind, huh? I know those big old things pick up a lot of wind. All right, we'll go back home. Okay, so yesterday I got, I know this doesn't look like it, but I got my lobes pierced. Now, if you see up here, this is my original lobe piercing and it's not really in the middle, it's kind of higher up. So I got my lower lobe pierced 
maybe one day I would get my upper lip pierced, but right now, so I've got my lower lobe pierced on both ears. Um, so they just have these little balls in them right now. And then I got my helix pierced up here. And he recommended putting this bar in um, because if it was a ring or like a hoop, I might hit it more. Um, you know, so with delaying the healing. And so once it's healed, I either want a hoop like this or maybe one that like wraps around the ear. I don't know what you call that. But then also I used to have a like a, a stud in my tragus and I got a hoop put in there and they just did it for me. I like it a little. <laughs> Let me get this dog up my face. Look at him, just ate food all on his chin. He want my nail file. Sir, I already did your nails. This ain't edible. This ain't edible. Back up off me, dog. Go on now. Go. See, what? Demonic energy right here. Why are you so intrigued with this nail file? It's not to eat. Why are you all up on me like this? Homie. Look, what? Not, not to pull on my hand like that. Oh, it is later in the day on um, Saturday. Obviously, I'm outside walking at night. I got my hat on, reapplied my sunscreen. Duh. But I am 30, maybe 32% into blacks. Nope. Fevered star. And uh, it's good so far. I know from Mara and Bethany reading it, they said that the pacing was kind of, I don't remember if they said different or slow. I just knew it wasn't going to be super fast paced going into it. But I'm still enjoying it. I mean, I only got to maybe 5% last night, so I've read 25% of it today with some naps in between because <laughs> if I sit on the couch, I'm going to nap. Um, I feel like it's more, obviously it's, it's taking you through what's happening after the final events of Black Sun. And we're getting uh, all the different point of views. And of course, I still have my favorites. The romp can kick rocks. And I, I, <laughs> I, I have a feeling where this is going and I don't like it because I don't like her but yeah I mean there's not much I can say without being spoilery but it's not fast paced but it's also not slow like I feel like I'm reading the chapters fairly quickly and like I'm interested to see what's going on because you know it's really like seeing where everyone is at from what happened and then what they're doing um going forward and you know there's another character that we're getting a point of view from and I'm like nervous about him so yeah I feel like that wasn't a good thing but that's where I am so I decided to take Nigel for a little walk it's of course I say that it really isn't windy and then of course we come out here and there's a little wind but this is the best it's been like all week it's been really windy and he hates walking in the wind so we're gonna try to get a little jaunt in today so talk to you later okay hey very yellow right here, so sorry. We were walking upstairs, probably can hear me huffing and puffing. I did not do my decluttering yesterday, which was seven, no, eight. And today is nine. So, ooh, we're in my very hideous bedroom and we are gonna go through some stuff because I have a lot of stuff in my dresser. Ooh, don't look at that closet. We're not going there yet. Is this, it's, it's ugly right here. We're gonna start, this is the shorts drawer. Let me see what size these are. These are six. I am not a six right now, but I don't know. That's a, I don't know. These are shirts I'm keeping. This skirt, I've only worn a couple times. I don't want it anymore. So that's one. These shorts. Oh, I love these shorts from American Eagle. There are six. I'm gonna. I'm just. Am I trying to fool myself? Like I. I really like where I was with the six. I love t-shirts, so these ain't going nowhere. I have so many shirts from college, like. College t-shirt, college t-shirt, college t-shirt, college t-shirt, and I'm keeping them all. Oh my God, when I went to Bonnaroo, this shirt still looks really good. Camp Bonnaroo, oh, I haven't seen that shirt in forever. Oh my God, Dave Matthews Band, keeping that. Memories, okay. And then we went to oh, San Francisco, yeah, yeah, keeping that, keeping that. These might be a little snug right now, but. Oh look, another college shirt, this skirt. I don't need this anymore either. Two. What's this? What's this shirt? What does it say? Travel is my therapy. I don't even remember when I got this shirt. That's cute. I don't think 
I don't think I've ever worn that. Okay, these shorts. I'm never going to fit. I mean, these are a two, probably. Oh, it just says medium, but they're so small. But they're so cute. But I'm just never going to be this small again. I just know it. So that's three. These shorts, which I really love this color. These are a two. Yeah, we're not going to be... We're not going to be this small again. That's four. This next one shirt. Like I have just a lot of t-shirts I sleep in. They're Andrew's old shirts in that I wear around the house and sweatpants. We're going to keep this. Okay, maybe I'll try to fold it as it comes out of the thing. Try. Okay. Why is my arm hurting? These pants. Very comfortable. Keeping those. Um, let's see. These shorts. Super small. I can get rid of these gym shorts. Oh, these are so cute though. But they're like, what is this, a small? This isn't extra large. These must have been kids shorts then. Ain't no way, these are tiny. So we'll let those go. This shirt, it's just an old Target V-neck. Don't want that anymore. These leggings need to go. They're cotton, so they stretched out. Just throw those away. I got a pizza sock. Um, what's this, just a black shirt? You know, we keep that. We'll keep that. More stuff. Oh my god, I remember when I bought this. I thought it was so cool. Nope, this is not what I was thinking of. What is this? Oh, it's like some supplement shirt. Why is it in mine? I don't wear tank tops. Oh my god, I remember when I bought these Nike leggings. I thought they were so cool, but I'm not wearing those brightest leggings anymore. Would anybody? I might just throw those away. These pants. I don't even know. And I know they have holes in them from when Nigel was a puppy. And he would jump up. Yep, look. <laughs> they got holes in them from his uh, little nails. So this is being thrown in the trash. That's just another gym shirt. More athletic pants, even though I'm not athletic, but I like to wear them. So we're keeping those. What is this? Another college shirt. <laughs> we love it. These leggings I got from Target, and I hate, they don't, they're not a high waist. And I need, I need that. Oh my battery's about to die. I need that muffin top coverage, so I'm gonna get rid of these. This shirt I need to let go, but I love it so much. So there's a coffee shop in, I don't know if there's other locations, but um, there's this is from the one in College Station in Texas. It's called Sweet Eugene's, and I love this shirt because it says Kappa Cappuccino, and I've worn the hell out of it. It's like got a hole in the pit <laughs> and under this one, so I need to let it go, but it makes me sad. I need to get another one when I go back to visit, so I will, let, I will get rid of this. This, I rarely wear tank tops at the gym and I think I've only worn this like once or twice. And like I'm torn, like I wanna keep it, but like I'm very self-conscious. I don't know, I'm gonna keep it for now. Just other, it makes me so mad because I love these shirts, but then they got like oil stains on them and I can't get them out. Like, I need to do some research because they're just, you know, nice and simple V-necks and I don't, I don't wanna get rid of them. My friend got me this shirt, but I don't, I mean I could wear, it just has its back out. I could wear it around the house. I need to let I'm gonna let it go see see look at me I'm gonna let it go this is another one I don't really like this one as much though so I'm gonna get rid of this top and then this is another of the shirt where I need to figure out how to get the oil out of it and this is an old v-neck that can go and then oh I got this I work hard so my dog can have a better life which I have to keep even though tank top Christmas socks. Okay, wow, we did another drawer. Look at it, bottom drawer. On this side, more shirts, which we're keeping because we love shirts. More sweats, essential. I don't know why I still have these pajama pants because crotch hole. I guess I'm not gonna get rid of things. So we're getting rid of that. Another college shirt, keeping. Memories. I need to let go of these leggings. I love these Nike leggings, but not anymore. They don't even have pockets. They're not high waist. How's the crotch? Surprisingly, the crotch is. Oh, actually, there's a little hole. So, time for these to go. I had those for so long. This is another college shirt. This is from literally College Orientation. It's so faded, but I can't let it go. This is a great shirt I love. I got at Bucky's. All right, all right, all right. Gotta keep that. Duh. V-neck, I don't want this anymore. It's the plain purple V-neck. These shorts are great. They're just big and loose. So we're gonna keep you. Ooh, underwear. Why are you in there? Okay. 
we got rid of stuff. So I need to look up if I can donate leggings and also how to get oil stains out of whatever material this is. While I'm in this awkward location down here. Yes, we are gonna tackle the top of my dresser too. Don't you worry. I'm 50% into Black's, no, Fevered Star. And now I know why the cover is like, you know, that part has come into the story. And I don't know if I like where this is going because, hmm. And I will say that I was doing really good up to the 30%. And then as we get more <sighs> Narampa POVs, that, those POVs are where I'm struggling because I didn't enjoy her in the first one and I don't love her in the second one. And then there's just, it's interesting to see how different people are interacting with other people who weren't together in the first book. But I did want to finish it tonight. I don't know if I will because it's already like 7.30. Well, I got this done and then Andrew's gonna cook dinner tonight so I could read more. It depends, I could finish it tonight. I definitely will finish it by tomorrow, by the end of this vlog. Tomorrow's gonna be the last day of this week's vlog and definitely gonna finish it. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I'm, I'm very, I have some fight theories as where this is going. I hope I'm not right, but we'll see. I'm looking over at my closet where all my shoes. We're gonna be getting to that. Oh my God, this is amazing. Like, I feel so good getting rid of stuff because I have so much stuff. So I'm gonna go back downstairs. Um, I don't know if I'll update you again tonight or if I'll talk to you tomorrow, but bye. <clears throat> I don't know if I've been reading too much today on my Kindle, but like my eyes are like there's it feels like there's pressure and like right here hurts. So it was like 60 percent in the favorite star, and I just had to like put it down. And like literally, I usually joke like I'm just resting my eyes when I'm tired, but literally right now I'm like literally it feels like my eyeballs are strained. And maybe it's just because I've been staring at my Kindle so much today. I don't know. It's really weird. So I'm just like trying to give them a little break because I want to keep reading. But it's very, it's very annoying also how like how dark my eyes look. But yeah. Um, I don't, I don't, mm, I don't like how this is going. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like Naramba. They don't support Naramba. Anyway, I'm gonna try to rest my eyes and see if I can read some more tonight. I came upstairs to get my camera to take downstairs to start putting clips into my computer and I forgot that I didn't do my um, decluttering stuff. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my drawers for today and then go wrap up this vlog and I still have like 20% of 20% of Fevered Star to read and then I will tell you my feelings on that so let's do this. I know these need to go because they have a rip in the crotch but again I just washed them and uh it's a small rip but I've had these for a while. I washed them and put them back in the drawer so those have gotta go. This is just a shirt I wear around the house so We'll keep that same shirt I wear, gym, these. These are super old Nike leggings that are like pilling. Like, I mean, they're super old. Like, I don't think you can see on camera, but I don't think I would donate these. These are so like, I mean, they don't even fit me anymore, but I guess somebody could wear them around the house, but I don't know if they would want these. I think I'll just throw these away because they look, they don't look good. Oh, I knew I had more shorts in here. Wow, these are dirty. More size twos. Look at these little things. Look at this. I don't even think my thigh would fit in this now. More size twos. Look, look at this. I was, this was, I was a size. And I am not anymore. So there's, wow, these have tags on them. Wow, look how small these are. Wow, okay, two more shorts. Um, yeah, at one point in my life, I when I cared about sports, I was a New England fan. I'm not gonna explain why, it's this long story, but anyway, I have all these like Patriot shirts. Um, I don't, I don't care about sports anymore. They stress me out, so I'm gonna let it go. 
These are some small workout shorts that definitely do not fit anymore. So those need to go. What is this? Is this the sports bra I was looking for? This shirt I've had for a long time. I like athletic shirt, but that's definitely too small now. So it's still like, you know, I don't know if anybody would want it, but it's still in good condition. What are these? Oh, these leggings. They're so tight. Yeah, these have got to go. They dig, they have like this really thick waistband that just dig into my muffin. I'm like, uh-uh. So, I mean, they're in good, I love the color and they're in good condition, but I don't enjoy wearing them. Literally, I've had this tank top, these tank tops since, I've definitely had this one since 2007. <laughs> and I've had this one at least since 2012. They're just like these little Target tank tops that, I mean, I don't wear them anymore, but I don't think I could get rid of them because of memories. <sighs> I don't even know when I got this jacket, but I don't really wear it. And it's just, let it go, right? And then another pair of leggings right there, bam, on the top. We got 10 things. These are the same as those other ones where they have that really thick band, and I just hate them. Eight, nine, ten. Ten things. Wrapping up a vlog, who is she? I'm not even good at starting vlogs, but it is Monday and I was like, oh my God, I forgot to wrap up the vlog. And honestly, my plan was to do this last night, but then I was having issues with my video that was going up today on Monday, um, where I would upload it to YouTube. The full video was like 20 something minutes, but it would only come up eight minutes. It did like three times and I had to figure out so that took me, and it was like till one o'clock till I figured it out and got it uploaded and made sure it was the right length and edited the captions in the description. And I was like, going to bed. Sorry, Nigel is having his breakfast in the background. I'm still trying to process how I feel about Fever to Star. It definitely isn't like an overwhelming, I loved it. There were definitely great moments. I was happy to be back specifically with Serapio and Shiala. I still, I was hoping Narampa would grow in me and she didn't, I just don't, I don't know. She's like, I don't know whether it's naive or just young or I don't know. There is something about Narampa that just bothers me. And definitely in the first one, she was very naive and just seemed too, I don't know. I, maybe it's just naive, gullible for her position. Um, but in this one, I, He's having water. I just don't know. It, it, I don't even know how to describe the pacing because it didn't take me long to read it. I read the majority of it um, on Friday and then I finished it on Saturday. No, I read the majority of it on Saturday, finished it on Sunday. There were just definitely POVs that I felt more interested in and that was Shiala and, S and Serapio and then the other ones I was like I guess it definitely is a bridge book it is definitely setting up it's giving a little history it's explaining things it's putting pe people traveling to different locations putting people in places people aligning themselves with certain groups or certain groups coming together for the next one I don't know if this is a trilogy it feels like it should be a trilogy like I don't think any longer I don't know where the story's gonna go, but it definitely is a book two. Like sometimes book twos are like, oh my God, so much going on. And then a book three can feel a little like lagging, but this one felt like, I still hesitate to say slow. It just was like, things were happening, but not like big things. They were like, okay, they were like, I'm getting my chest piece in place here. I'm slowly moving my little pawns, moving their stuff around. And at the end, you know where we're gonna start at least in the next book. So I don't know what I would rate it because would I would I would I predicted something happening kind of didn't happen. Like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. It's not like I hated it. I didn't love it. So, was that the only book I read this week? I don't even remember. It's been a long week, I don't know. But this week I've got some stuff from the library that uh, is gonna expire. So I'm gonna try to read some of those this week. And I've, um, a lot is romance. But I also have some audiobooks. Nigel, say hi to the people. 
Nigel, say hi. Say hi. Oh, excuse you. Oh, he's so nasty. But that's really it. I really don't remember if I read anything else this week. My piercings are uh, doing well. They're doing well. These are definitely a lot less tender than the Helix, but we're doing good. We're cleaning. We're keeping them. And I think that's it. I really don't know. I already forgot what happened this week. Feels like a long time ago. So I hope you enjoyed. And if you got in, um, I hope you're joining me on this declutter journey if you need to get rid of things. And let me know if you've gotten rid of anything. I know Robin was like, I've got a whole bag of clothes for donation. And I'm like, yes, that's right. We're doing this. We're freeing ourselves. So we make more room for books. <laughs> but yeah, if anything exciting happened in your week or anything spectacular, let me know. Whatever, how you're doing down in the comments. But I appreciate y'all for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you want to. And you know what I want to say. Stay blessed, hydrated, moisturized, and sunscreen. I already got my sunscreen on because I'm going to the gym. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!